Dear friends, myself Dr. Tripti Malika Huja. I welcome you in this video. In this video, you will get the multiple choice questions on the subject general and environmental microbiology. This video is useful for the students who are studying microbiology either at the undergraduate level or the postgraduate level and who are preparing for various entrance examinations, the competitive examination like the gate exam, the CSIR net exam and for the entrance exam for the PG courses. So watch this video till end. If you are new to the channel then do subscribe it and don't forget to press the bell icon so that you can get the notifications of all the new videos at time. These questions are taken from the Question Bank of North Maharashtra University, Jalga. Now I am starting the questions. I will read the questions one by one and I suggest you to take out a pen and paper. First of all, I will read the statement, the question and then I will read the options, the four options. The options which you think is correct, you can write on the paper and then I will tell you the correct option. The correct answer you can match with that of your answer. If it is correct, then well and good. If it is incorrect, then do correct it. And I will also try to give you a possible explanation of the question. So first of all, the first question is the compound microscope consists of two lenses known as A. Objective and eyepiece B. Objective and condenser C. Eyepiece and ocular D. None Note there is some error in the numbering of the options. So here the correct one is the option A which is objective and the eyepiece. The compound microscope means there are two systems of the lenses, the objective where the specimen is present on the stage and the eyepiece is also called the ocular from which the image is observed. Question number two. In dash microscopy, the object appears dark and the microscopic field is brightly illuminated. The options are a. Dark field B. Bright field C. Both and D. None. So here the correct one is the, I hope you have guessed it correctly, yes it is the option B. The bright field. In the case of the bright field microscopy, a dark uh, image is produced against a bright background. Now if the object is stained we will see the colored image otherwise just a dark image a reflective image is seen. While in the case of the other microscopy which is the dark field microscopy the field is dark and the object appears to be the brightly lit. The question number three Dash of the following is are the fluorochrome. Option A is rose bengal, B acrid in orange, C both and D none. So you can see that both the rose bengal and acrid in orange these are the fluorochromes. So the correct option is the option C. These both are the fluorochromes. Although the quantum yield of the fluorochrome is much smaller in the case of the rose bengal. Next question number 4. In phase contrast microscopy, the special optical system makes it possible to distinguish cells which are differ slightly in their dash. The options are a size, B diameter, C refractive index and D is the length. I hope you have guessed it correctly. Yes, the correct option is the option C, the refractive index. 
So the cells and their organelles, they may differ in their refractive index and that gives the best contrast in the case of the phase contrast microscopy. Hope you have got the correct answer. The question number five. The first phase contrast microscope was developed by Dash in 1933. So this is a very simple question. I hope everyone can answer it correctly. The option A is Hans Jensen, B Zacharis, and here it should be C Frederick Zernike and D. Lippershey. So, out of this, the correct one is the Frederick Zernike. Here it should be the option C. So, this is the correct. Next question number six is In TAM, the microscopic column is maintained under. The option is A. Pressure, B. Vacuum, C. Temperature, and D. Is magnetism. So here the correct one is the option B which is the vacuum. So this was a simple question, a direct question. Now the question number 7 says again it is on the electron microscope. In SAM the secondary electrons are converted into A. Tertiary electrons B. Electric current C. Electric charge and D is none. So here the correct option is the option B which is the electric current. So in the case of this SEM, the scintillation which accelerates the electron converts them into the current and that current can be magnified amplified by the photomultiplier. So the correct is the B electric current. The question number 8 says symbiotic association may be roughly divided into two categories A. Aptosymbiosis and endosymbiosis B. Electric current C. Both D. None. So here the correct one is the option A. Aptosymbiosis and endosymbiosis again it was a very simple question. Question number 9. Lichen is the symbiotic association of A. Fungi and bacteria B. Fungi and algae C. Algae and bacteria D. Protozoa and virus The correct option is the B. It is fungi and the algae. The fungal partner is saprophytic while the algal partner is photosynthetic. The next question number 10. Bioluminescence is the property of producing dash A. Rays B. Light C. Current and D is for the darkness. Here the correct option is the option B which is the light. Bioluminescence is the light produced by the chemical reaction in the living organisms. Now moving to the next question, the question number 11. Dash is the type of endosymbiosis. A. Cooperation. B. Commensalism. C. Mutualism. And D. Predation. So here the correct one is the C. Mutualism. Now the next question. The question number 12 says dash bacteria can fix the nitrogen. A. Pseudomonas. B. Staphylococcus, C. Rhizobium, D. Lactobacillus. The correct one is the C. Rhizobium. Question number 13. The term commensal was introduced by Dash in 1876. A. Pierre Joseph van Beneden, B. Lippershey, C. Robert Hooke, and D. Hans Jensen. So here the correct one is the a, which is the Pierre Joseph van Benetton. The commensalism is a term in which there is biological interaction between the members of one species, one species and uh, in which the one species gain benefits while the other species is neither benefited or nor the harmed. 
The next question, the question number 14. The fungal mycelium penetrates the root cells by the means of projections called A. arbuscles, B. absorbing organ, C. hosteria, and D is the none of the above. So here the correct answer mm -hmm. option is A. arbuscles. So arbuscles, these are the projections. And because of which these projections, they seem like tree-like within the cell. Next question number 15. The ruminants are a group of dash mammals. A. Carnivorous, B. Herbivorous, C. Omnivorous and D. None. This is the simplest of all the question and I know you have guessed it correctly. Yes, the correct one is the option B. Herbivorous. Question number 16. In lichen, the fungal partner is also called... A. Phycobiont, B. Photosymbiont, C. Mycobiont, D. All of the above. The fungal partner is called mycobiont, so the option C is correct. Myco is always for the fungus. The study of fungus is called mycology. The question number of number 17. Bioluminescence property is common to several species of A. Vibrant shigella. It should be B, photobacterium and vibrio, C, photobacterium and shigella, D, only vibrio. The correct one is the option C. It is photobacterium and vibrio. The question number 18. Dash is the obligatory interaction. A, mutualism, B, commensalism, C, cooperation and D, amensalism. So here the correct is the option A which is the mutualism. In mutualism both the species are benefited while in commensalism one is always benefited but the other is neither benefited nor harmed. The question number 19 says the digestive tract of ruminant contains dash successive stomach A, 2, 3, 4, 6. The correct one is the option 4. The four stomach are called human, reticulum, omesum, and abomesum. The question number 20. Dash device is used for the enumeration of bacteria in air. A. Lemon sampler. B. Anderson air sampler. C. Capillary impinger and D, all of the above. The correct is the D, which is the all of the above. All of these samplers, they are used for sampling of the air and then the enumeration of bacteria in air. The question number 21, dash species of Clostridium especially acts as index organism. A, tetanine, B, botulinum, C. Perferenges, D. None. The correct one is the C, which is the Perferenges. The Clostridium Perferenges acts as an indicator of fecal pollution because they are entirely fecal in origin. They are widely distributed in the sewage and the human feces. Question number 22. Dash are used frequently as indices of fecal pollution in water and food. So again a related question. A only E. coli, B E. coli and Clostridium perferenges, C E. coli and Streptococcus faecalis, D Clostridium perferenges and Streptococcus faecalis. Here the correct one is the option which is the option uh, these are the option actually it should be all of these the E. coli, Clostridium perferenges and the Streptococcus faecalis because these are the fecal indicators and these are also called the fecal organism the E. coli, fecal Streptococci and the Enterococci. So here the option which is uh, almost correct I can say it is E. coli, Streptococcus faecalis. And uh, it should also be the enterococci. So none of this is correct, but I am saying that this option is correct. Question number 23. Dash test or tests are used in the routine analysis of coliform. A. Presumptive test. B. Confirmed test. C. Completed test. And D. All of the 
above. So here the correct one is all of the above. These are together used for the analysis of coliforms, the presumptive test, the confirmed test and then the complete test. Question number 24. Dash medium is used in the presumptive test. A. Lauryl sulfate tripton broth. B. McConkey broth. C. Sodium azide glucose broth. Then the yeast extract mannitol broth. The correct one is the McConkey broth. Question number 25. For enumeration of coliform organism, dash method is used. MVC reaction, ampian, standard plate count, none of the above. The correct one is the ampian. Ampian stands for the most probable number. Question number 26. In laboratory, many C bacteria grow at 30 degrees Celsius and 15,000 pounds per inch. These are known as barophilic, obligatory barophilic, cyclophilic, mesophilic. These are known as the obligatory barophilic organism. The question number 27 says, the organism whose natural habitat is terrestrial and which are able to grow in media without sea water, yet able to tolerate varying degree of salinity are known as A. Indigenous, B. Transient, C. Halotolerant, D. None. So here the answer halotolerant is correct. Question number 28. The size, weight, moisture content and dash of air upon particles are of importance in consideration of methods for disinfecting air. A shape, B opacity to UV light, C both and D none. So here the correct one is the B opacity to UV light. Now next question, question number 29. The coliform group includes all the dash bacilli. A. Aerobic and facultative anaerobic. B. Gram negative. C. Non sporing. And D is all of the above. So the correct one is the D, which is the all of the above. These are gram negative, these are non sporing, and these are aerobic and facultative and aerobes. Question number 30. Dash test is designated to enumerate total viable pollution. Actually, it should not be the pollution. It should be population. The question should be it is the population. Sorry for this writing. It is population. The options are A. Presumptive test. B. Completed test. C. Standard plate count. And D. Is the confirmed. The correct one is the standard plate count. The standard plate count is used for the enumeration of all the microorganisms which are viable in a given sample. Question number 31. Dash inhibit virtually all bacteria except fecal streptococci. Option A. Thylvolid and azide. B. Glucose. C. Lauryl sulfate and D is the tryptose. The correct answer is the ethyl violet and acide. Question 32 says E. coli and dash are normally referred to as fecal and non-fecal contaminants of water respectively. A. Clostridium perfringens, B. Enterobacter aerogenes, C. Bacillus and D. Vibrio. The correct one is the B. Enterobacter aerogenes as it is not present in the feces. So the correct option is B. Enterobacter aerogenes. I hope these questions will help you in preparation of your exams. Stay tuned. Best wishes. Bye and take care.